us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the August 2022 science paper 2. In the first four episodes of this series we looked at the multiple choice questions which is question 1 through 20. Then uh, in the last four episodes we looked at question 1 through question B4 of section B. So in this episode we are focusing on question B5. So let us go straight to question B5. Excess of zinc metal was added to 200 centimeter cubic of 2 molality hydrochloric acid. Remember 2M is uh, the number of moles per decimeter cubic which we call molality. Question A write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So basically we are reacting zinc metal with uh, basically hydrochloric acid. So a uh, zinc would basically react with uh, hydrochloric acid on a modality to fast a rate producing zinc chloride which is a salt and hydrogen gas. Remember the generic formula is basically when you react a metal and acid you end up with basically a salt and hydrogen gas. That's the generic reaction. So basically let us uh, now light uh, this equation. So what we have is basically zinc which is a solid then we react it with hydrochloric acid which is basically aqueous then we are going to get a basically zinc chloride which is aqueous then plus hydrogen gas. So basically this is the equation. So now this equation needs to be balanced. So what we notice in this case in terms of um, zinc, we have one zinc this side and one zinc in the other side is balanced. Hydrogen, we have two hydrogen on the right hand side but one hydrogen on the left hand side. So on the left hand side we put a two there so it becomes a uh, balance in terms of hydrogen. In terms of uh, chloride or chlorine, we have basically two chlorine on the left hand side and two chlorine on the right hand side. So the equation is balanced just by introducing one number. Then we look at our question B. Calculate the Roman numeral 1 number of moles of hydrogen gas produced in the reaction. So what you see in this case in terms of the mole ratio is basically you have one more here then two moles here then you have one more here, then one more here. That's the more ratio. So we need to see um, the number of moles of hydrogen gas that will be produced. So what we need to know is we need to know the number of moles that are in uh, 200 centimeter cubic of two molality of hydrochloric acid. Once we know that, we'll be able to determine how many moles of hydrogen will be produced. We know that a molality M is given by number of moles divided by volume in decimeter cubic. Now decimeter cubic is a 1000 centimeter cubic. So 1000 centimeter cubic makes one decimeter. So we know what M is. M is basically we've been given is equal to 2. Then we need to find the volume. Once we know the volume, if you know this and that we can find n just by multiplying in such a way that the number of moles is equal to basically molality multiplied by volume. So let us find the volume in decimeter cubic. So to convert this to decimeter cubic what we are going to do is basically to divide this by 1000. So 1000 centimeter cubic is equal to 1 decimeter cubic. So basically what you do is we're just saying 200 centimeter cubic is equal to x. Then you close there. So x, when you do close, x is equal to basically um, 1000 x is equal to 200 
then you divide by 1000 you divide by 1000 so but basically x is equal to 0 0.2 decimeter cubic that's it, basically the volume in decimeter cubic so i just wanted to ensure that you follow me clearly okay so having found the, the volume we can now find the number of moles so what we have is basically molality is a 2 here which we've been given so it's 2 multiplied by the volume which we found here which is 0 0.2 when we multiply that we are going to end up with a basically 0 0.4 moles as the volume of hydrochloric acid used so if 0 0.4 moles of hydrochloric acid has been used then this is 0 0.4 then what should be produced here so if we use two moles of hydrochloric acid we are producing half of two which is one so here if you use 0 0.4 here we should produce 0 0.2 which is basically half of it so in terms of the moles of hydrogen produced is basically equal to this which is in this case we just do the same ratio as 2 is equal to 1 then 0 0.4 is equal to x then we cross multiply so we have basically 2x is equal to 0 0.4 then we divide by 2 we divide by 2 we end up with x is equal to 0 0.2 so the answer here is basically 0 0.2 moles then a lemma numero 2 calculate the volume of hydrogen gas produced at room temperature and pressure so uh, to answer this question we just need to uh, use a periodic table which is uh, a giveaway question so if you check out uh, the periodic table we know that uh, the volume of one more of any gas at room temperature and pressure is equal to 24 decimeter cubic so having known that we can go back we know that um, one more is equal to 24 decimeter cubic then how many moles of hydrogen do we have we have 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 moles should be equal to x then we close so x times uh, 1 we have x then we have 0 0.2 multiplied by 24 once uh, we simplify this we are going to end up with a basically 4.80 decimeter cubic as in the volume of hydrogen produced Question C, what mass of zinc was used in the reaction? So basically, again, to answer this question, we just look at uh, the molecule. So we know that uh, basically, if we use two moles of hydrochloric acid, we'd need one more of zinc. Then to produce one more of zinc chloride and one more of hydrogen gas. So now, the question is, the mass of zinc that was used so if we add 0 0.4 moles of hydrochloric acid then would need 0 0.2 moles of zinc metal as the case with hydrogen gas remember one would react with it two produce one one so if you have 0 0.4 would need half of this to react with that to give us this which is 0 0.2 so once we have that we can find now the mass so we know that um, the number of moles are given by a mass given divided by relative molecular mass of zinc that's basically the case so we know the number of moles the number of moles n is basically equal to 0 0.2 then the mass given is what we are looking for we can find the mass number of zinc from the periodic table which we can easily find then once we do that we are going to look for mass so mass is equal to basically the number of moles which we know multiply by relative molecular mass or mass number of zinc so we know what n is 0 0.2 then we need to go to the periodic table and check the value 
for zinc. So when we are on the periodic table, we look for zinc, we discover that this is basically 65. So 65 is the mass number. So we go back to the question. So this is 65. Then we multiply by that. We are going to end up with basically um, 13 grams. So 13 grams is basically the mass of zinc that was used in the reaction. So basically this is how you answer this question. So please join me as I look at question B6 in the next episode.